Hey guys, and welcome back to Dead Space. So, in the last episode, the Kellyan was blasted into oblivion, and we lost another one of our friends. But that's okay. We shall do what we always do. We shall carry on. Um, now. So, we are there. So, we've missed couple of rooms go check that room out over there by this I bet that's locked isn't it interesting is it this one Oh, hello. I wonder what was making all that noise. Hmm. Always someone. Got to be shouting his mouth off. Right. There is a room that we haven't looted. Very nice. Stasis pack, we'll have it, and there's a node in here. Sweet, plasma energy, what else we got? We like these goodies. Plasma, plasma, and a node, excellent. You need to be careful when you start picking things up, because sometimes these vents will just burst open, and you're probably gonna have a bad time. All right, nice. Always worth checking the map. Definitely don't want to leave any loot behind. All right, so, we're all clear? We're all clear, apart from that one room that we haven't been in yet, but that one is locked. Although, Apparently, we can now get in it. Oh, right. We can't actually get into that one yet. Yep. That's the main hangar bay. Yep. Okay, we're going to knock that one on the head then. All right, cool. Let's follow our mystical waypoint of goodness then. check the toilets. Always check the toilets. Because you never know. Oh. Got some money. See? People drop all kinds of useful things in the toilets. I don't know why. And some ammo. Lovely. Now, when I played this, there was an enemy in that toilet. So, you know, randomized. Interesting. He didn't actually attack me, funny enough. I just saw him walk off into the distance. And he didn't actually notice I was there. So, that's going to be something to think about. Aha! New game plus inventory. Retrieve inventory and weapons from the storage section. Yep, so everything I should have amassed in the last playthrough will be here. Which is pretty nice. It's going to give us a leg up. Money. Now, what's going to be new to this playthrough as well is we can buy a new armoured suit. Excellent. Now available, suit level 6, EDF rig, Earth Defense Force. Lovely. Alright, let's sell you. We've got a lot of health, which is nice. Wow, this is all the stuff I finished the game with. On, um, Yeah, all the stuff I finished the game with on normal. It was kind of redonkulous, but whatever. 
All right, let's get the let's get this bad boy. Provides thirty percent armor. Is that all it does? I mean, that's pretty nice. Don't get me wrong. Thirty percent extra armor. Oh man. Actually have a battle suit. That looks cool. Yep, so it doesn't actually increase our um inventory at all, which is fine because our inventory is actually huge. Right, so what should we experiment with? Take some more ammo. No, we're not gonna. It's too easy to sell things. It should be moved to inventory. Right, let's grab some ammo. And we could take the pulse rifle, the ripper, the flamethrower, contact beam, uh, the line gun, which is one of my favorites. Let's go for. I can see the line gun being useful, but also the flamethrower. Ripper, force gun. Um let's have the line gun. And maybe the flamethrower. Let's play with that. We can always switch these weapons around as we go on. Now we have an upgrade for the flamethrower and for the line gun. Got two upgrades for the force gun, so I obviously haven't found everything. Cool. All right. Now we need a bench, really. <sighs> I do like our suit. Looks ah, talking of a bench. There we go. Level six, flamethrower upgrade. Yep. Line gun upgrade. Cool. So, what have we got here? Stasis duration. Nice. Kinesis grab range. Nice. More oxygen. Eh, go on him. Why not? Can't have too much oxygen. Uh, Kinesis throw damage. Very nice. And stasis duration. Up to 12 seconds. Very nice. That's going to come in really handy. Okay. So, plasma cutter is all maxed out. Now, the flamethrower. As you can see... So our plasma cutter does 200 damage, which is kind of mind-boggling. Let's dump some into the line gun. So it only holds five shots. Let's get this damage going. If we can, capacity, reload, speed, damage. You know what? There we go. What does that do? Greatly increases laser trap damage. Well, I don't know what the laser trap is, but fine. We shall have that. And that gives us 13 to upgrade the flamethrower with. Uh, high pressure nozzle we actually have installed. So damage, capacity, capacity, duration, reload speed, reload speed, capacity. We can get some more damage going. So what does this do? Increases the range. Yeah, that sounds like something we're probably going to want. Um, well, that actually worked out perfect. So we're out of nodes now. But we have some fairly powerful weapons. Ooh. 
Now, ammo is actually unique to the weapon. Which is cool. So let's equip that. And equip that. Okay. Now, I haven't actually tried the new weapons. Or any of the weapons. But, oh man, I remember the line gun being cool. So a wide beam mineral cutter for heavy duty mining. So primary beam, and we can put down some kind of trap thing. All right, cool. Look at our armor. Man, that looks cool. Very happy with that. All right, what we got, what we got, what we got. So we need level one clearance to get through there. That's fine. All quiet on the western front. Medical desk. Hey, Kanisha's module. Excellent. So, now we can start moving things. And you can move like anything in this game as well, which is really cool. Now there's plenty of instances where there is stuff hidden behind objects. You seem to get that a lot, like perfect example. And I actually think there's going to be a lot of things hidden. Oh, hello. Someone's making some noise. Nope, can't check anything through there. Now, as for how much damage you can actually do with Kinesis versus your weapons, it seems to be kind of random. Sometimes you can do, like, horrendous amounts of damage. <laughs> right. Anyway, enough play. That'll do. Not bad, Mr. Isaac. Not bad at all. Alright. Now, is there anything actually behind... Can we? Put that back. Ah, you see? You see? Ooh, got a semiconductor. Now, they're just for selling money. For selling money? For selling for money. I should say. Cool. You okay? Ooh. Got to hold the line. They all came back. Ooh. Ooh, she just had a bad time. Now that's where you get the uh, machine gun. <laughs> or the pulse rifle. Yeah. Oh, look at this. She is, like, proper wedged in there. I was hoping, like, I did try for ages to see if you can pull the spike out of her. But, no. She did well, though. Oof, nasty. Line racks. Ah, this is going to be the interesting thing. Plane for a fuel. It looks like now. Those body bags are kind of cool. Um, because we actually have those other weapons on us, we're going to find ammo for them. She did a good job here. Sadly, just not quite good enough. Station now accessible. Thank you for your patience. No problemo.
Yeah, so I'm guessing... Okay, okay. Uh, right, bit of a weird cut there, guys. <laughs> uh, for some reason... Uh, I noticed OBS has decided to pause my recording. Not really sure why. I'm really glad I saved it there, because I had gone on for quite a while. Right, anyway, let's go. Hmm. I do like the way they've tried to barricade this place up with bodies. It's kind of amusing. Now, one thing that's kind of... that you do have to kind of keep in your head is uh, the kinesis button. If you're not actually aiming and you fire the kinesis button, it uses a medkit. <laughs> that can very quickly chew through your medkits. So you need to be very much aware of that. Anyway, let's get back to medical. Um, it kind of looks like medical is somewhere that they really tried to barricade keep everyone from getting to though. Which could either be a good thing because it's full of people and it's the last bastion or well you know. Isaac, have you heard from Daniel? We were attacked. She ran the other way. No, nothing. Medical's a slaughterhouse. They barricaded access to the morgue. The morgue? Yeah. But the barricade was put together in a hurry. A hydrazine tank might blow it open. Just need a detonator, like maybe a shock pad. And Cole could be through there if... Isaac. The one who attacked us. I swear to God it was Chen. But... I saw him die. If they barricaded the morgue, maybe it was to keep something in. Hmm. That is a bit of food for thought there. It could be. But it could also be Hammond's being a bit of a negative Nancy. There could be cookies in there. Right, let's go sell our stuff. Pretty sure we have... Yeah, this is going to be the problem um, of having multiple weapons. You're going to obviously accrue lots and lots of uh, different ammo and whatnot. And uh, that's going to take up more space. I'm pretty sure, like, with Dead Space 2, if I remember correctly, didn't, like, every weapon use the same ammo? I can't remember now. Like, they just used varying amounts of it, which was an interesting idea. Not sure how much I like that idea, but... An interesting change that they made. Right, let's have a little poke around in here. Ooh. This looks bad. Right. Oh! Oh. I thought a monster had come back to life. Nope. Well, what have we got going on down here? Nothing good, I'd wager. So, ooh! Uh-oh. Ooh. Well, this is questionable. But fine. We can handle this. This is what we trained for. I don't know where we trained for this. But we trained somewhere for this. Oh, we're good. Man, that kinesis kind of kind of kicks a little bit of ass, doesn't it? I'm a fan. I think we got more enemies crawling around downstairs. But that's okay. We can handle such things. 
After all, we're a trained engineer. And as good as engineers are at fixing things, we can unfix things as well. I'll fix it till it's broken. Anyone else? Come on. There's always more. Always more. There you are. Don't be shy. Oh, that just doesn't get old. That just doesn't get old. Quarantine lifted. I'm converted to the ways of Kinesis. Right, let's see what you guys have got. Anything? No. You don't get as much popping out of these guys as you did in the original. They pretty much give their loot up a lot easier. Now, tissue sample. Remember that. We actually do have a real danger of filling our inventory up. Alright, well, that's good. At least we're going to have plenty of tools. I've got another nice juicy save spot. More credits. Lovely. Oh, wishbone. I heard about that. That's quite a difficult achievement to get. But apparently if you grab these guys, you get that. Now this achievement, Wishbone, is um, achieved essentially by tearing off a dangling limb from an enemy. Now, I don't know how you do that. I've really tried to get that achievement and nothing seems to make it activate. I don't know why. Yeah, that's just been one elusive achievement that I haven't been able to get. Now, apparently it has to do with the fact that you've got to damage the limb so it's flopping around. And then tear it off with Kinesis. But, the problem is, it's either on or, or it's off. If it seems to be still attached in any way, you can't... Oh, hello. Oof. Oh, you're going to have a bad time, dude. Yeah. Yeah, poor guy. Literally, like, ended by a weird mutant baby thing. Nasty. Now, those guys aren't quite as annoying as I remember them. Thinking that maybe we should just come back here. Another time. Because we do seem to be going quite far in the wrong direction. Now look at all these people in these tanks. I'm not really... I mean, this seems to be the medical wing where they're like regrowing body parts and stuff. And, you know, there's a lot of babies incubating here as well, which I, <laughs> I don't really know the science of behind why they're incubating babies. I mean, I guess these guys are healing from whatever diseases they've, you know, found themselves being afflicted with. But why they're growing babies in tanks, I don't know. I know we can find a log later on that goes on about um, their, you know, growing body parts and stuff as replacements, but, you know, which makes sense. I heard somebody making noise up there. 
So, to Zed Castwell from D. Lul, clerical error. Zoe, specimen two, uh, 426 is ready for harvest. I was about to notice uh, Averettes to prepare for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw Ensign Sable has been moved ahead of her. Is that right? Averettes has been on the waiting list for three months now. I thought an arm transplant took priority over a cornea. And then we have subject clerical error. Here's your clerical error. One of them brought CEC stock at the last purchase. One didn't. Guess which one was suddenly bumped up to vital personnel. It's not worth the headache to push back on it, trust me. And before you think about filing an ethics complaint, just remember uh, wise words of the Hippocrats. Shit rolls downhill, Zoe. Yeah. So I don't know if these are like complete whole bodies maybe that are ready to be harvested or if that's what they do with the babies I don't know but it's an interesting thing any more yep See, I can shoot big spiky things too, dude. And mine are bigger than yours. Right. Now, unfortunately, like, once you've fired these things, you can't appear to get them back. Which is a shame. But that Kinesis module is hyper lethal. Don't know if it's actually more lethal. Now it's been upgraded, I assume so, but it was kind of always hyper lethal, so. I don't know. Right. So this is what we wanted. Here is our paddle. Alright, let's turn the shock pads off and put that power into the doors. Lovely. Angels isn't answering her wriggling. What's your status? Did you find Nicole? No sign of her yet. But I found a shock pad I could use on the barricade. Just need a hydrazine tank. Hurry, Isaac. I don't like what I'm hearing out there. Well, what exactly are you hearing, dear boy? Alright, I think we've got some more rooms down here that we can check anyway. So, let's have a little squiz down below. Yeah, so growing bodies and things as replacements in tanks is probably going to be the future of medical research. And it makes sense. You know, growing in... A Oh, it's me. This is Nicole's office. It definitely makes sense to grow spare vessels that are genetically identical to the person that needs the transplant. So, patient log: Doctor N. Brannan, senior medical officer, counselling session zero three. Transcript for patient: name redacted. Doctor Brennan. Okay. Dictation on. I'll keep your name out of the transcript. Jane Doe. Thanks. It's just so hard to remember what's real. Dr. Brennan, your church mentor talked to you again. Jane Doe, he knows me and my girlfriend want to leave. I can feel it. Our last semester was all about heretics. How every unitologist who leaves is an enemy of humanity. Uh... Dr. Brennan, unitology is big enough to take care of itself. This is about what's right for you. Just be careful. The church pulls out these tricks when they feel threatened. They'll have neuropsychiatrists too. Even if you get out, they'll try to... Jane Doe? Dr. Brennan? Dr. Brennan, sorry, I... Jane Doe. Did something happen? Dr. Brennan, I had a patient who I tried, and then her son tried so hard, but she... I will fight for you with everything I've got. 
but never underestimate how strong the church's pull can be. Ah, yes. The church. Right, I've had my own dealings with the church. A different church. Personal log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. With medication and zero-G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvement. If this continues, there might be hope for the others on Aegis 7. However, Dr. Mercer continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. Of course he does. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. Of course he does. Dr. Nicole Brennan. Relocation inconclusive. Manual rig tracking is available. Right, and now this begins one of the um, side messages. Uh, side messages? Side missions we have. Which is pretty nifty, if you ask me. Now, the side content is obviously completely op uh, optional, but it's definitely worth doing. Yeah, I had um, a pasta. Or pasta. When I was in church, uh, I was forced to go to church at a young age, and he used to have all kinds of delusions and things that were messages from God. Yeah. Interesting. So, personal log, Dr. T. Klein, Chief Science Officer, observations on the marker. The vid logs from the colony are poor quality, but I've seen enough to confirm the discovery to Ben. These artifact uh, these artifacts appear to be a genuine marker, but the first to be found since Unitology's founding. We must get it on board at the first opportunity so I can begin a proper study. I can't even imagine the potential of such a find. The black marker offered revelations beyond our wildest dreams. That was without the benefits of currently analytical technology. This new marker, what secrets could it have? What wonders could it offer to humanity, to the Church of Unitology, without EarthGov here to seize them first? This marker could herald the dawn of a new age, and I will do my part to see that age come to pass. Maybe this is fate. In the darkest time of my life, the Church and its teachings comforted me, saved me, and now I'm here in the right place at the right time to be of service to all of humanity to repay those blessings. Amelia, if only you could be here now. Hmm. Well. Interesting. Now we can actually shift this out the way and find a, a little hidden hidey hole. He has this little secret workstation here and this is fantastic. Some line racks, got some credits, and another marker fragment. Which we will certainly be taking. Right, anything else? Ben, what in God's name is happening down here? Precisely what happened. God's work. How can you say that? These deaths at the colony, the paranoia, the hallucinations. You wanted a scientific analysis? Cause and effect? Well, it all began after they raised the marker. What are you so worried about? The marker is divine. We know this. Look, it'll be on board tomorrow. You can study it then. Put your mind at ease. At ease? People are dying. How can that be the transformation the teachings promise? We're witnessing a new beginning. Therapists for unitology, for humanity. Of course our faith is being tested. Everything is about to change. Hmm, <laughs> change. Change can be good. Seal entry. Change can be good. But... You know, death, destruction, forced early onset dementia. Hmm, not sure that's uh, that's a good fit. But anyway, let's keep going. 
Right. Now, what else have we got left down here? Ah, oh, we've searched everything, apparently. Now, this is kind of interesting as well. When I first uh, came to this place, and we first went all the way around in my first playthrough... There were enemies down here. And that was after the quarantine. Oh, hello. Surgical log. Dr. Charis Mercer. Copy to my secure terminal. I convinced Jurgen to show me the video feed from the colony. It's remarkable. To finally see what I've sought all my life. The mindless, the transformation. The divide death itself. Kain is erring on the side of caution. His faith has been shaken by these necromorphs, as he calls them. How strange. When my own faith has been so richly rewarded. With or without kind, I must study one of these creatures. Or the next best thing. Brennan's patient, for example. Brennan's patient, eh? So there's... Ooh. You know what? We're pretty much out of time. Um, interesting. So... Uh oh. We have enemies behind us. Be rude not to deal with them. Sorry, dude. There we go. Just mash this guy into the ground. There we go. That's better now, isn't it? Alright. Now we can comfortably save in peace. So, thanks for watching, guys. When we come back, we're going to continue our romp through intensive care. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.